just make you feel good and full of thanks for what you have. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that make you feel grateful. I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. Truth is, I don't want to know. Some things are best left unsaid. For this list, we're taking a look at movies that, for one reason or another, make you reflect on and appreciate your life. What would make me happy is if you give your mouth a rest. My pleasure. I'd like a little silence. No drive. problem. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. In case it isn't obvious, we will be talking about these films in detail, so spoiler alert. Can, okay. can you give me an approximate time when I'll be having sex? Number 10, 50-50. A tumor? Yes. Me? Yes. When Adam discovers that he has a malignant tumor in his spine and his chances for survival are 50-50, audiences feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that doesn't make any sense, though. I mean, I, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I, you know, I recycle. This is then made even more severe when he and we discover his cheating girlfriend. Oh, are you cheating on me? Yes. Seriously? Just when things don't seem like they can get any worse, they actually get a bit better as he meets a marvelous girl in the form of his therapist and begins to accept how his loved ones are coping with his illness. Girlfriends can be nice. You just had a bad one. And of course, he's got his best friend Kyle, who's always at his side no matter what. So why am I the bad guy? Because you're his girlfriend, you cheated on him, he has f***ing cancer, you lunatic. Never sugarcoating his struggle, while not wallowing in doom and gloom either. 50-50 could have been depressing, but instead made us grateful for our health and the people who will stick it out with us, even if it does waver. I'm totally fine. Don't worry so much. Number nine, water. <laughs> Depicting the life of a seven-year-old widow who's expected to spend the rest of her days living without any other means and worshipping God, this film is not just a tale of woe. There's an undercurrent of understandable anger through much of water, but it still manages to feature beauty and humor. Likely to leave audiences grateful that they've not found themselves under similar circumstances, but also pleased to know that those that do can still find meaning in life. Water is a fantastic Indo-Canadian drama that was nominated for the Best Foreign Language Film Oscar, among several other awards. Number 8, Punch Drunk Love. I don't know if there is anything wrong because I don't know how other people are. Barry Egan is a man who seems exceptionally weak at first glance. I didn't do anything. I'm a nice man. I mind my own business. But like a calm ocean that conceals a bevy of predators under the surface, there is an inner strength in him trying to break free. I have a love in my life. It makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. So when he meets a woman that sees through his quiet facade and comes to feel some self-worth for perhaps the first time in his life, he will stop at nothing to protect her. I'm looking at your face and I just want to smash it. I just want to smash it with a sledgehammer and squeeze it. You're so pretty. A unique tale of romance that simultaneously has both an otherworldly and realistic feel. This romantic comedy drama can't help but make us feel grateful that anybody can find love. People are just crazy in this world, I think. Number seven, The Blind Side. Honey, you're changing that boy's life. No. He's changing mine. The Blind Side tells the remarkable story of a young man whose luck turns around when a well-to-do family takes him out of the impoverished world he's been brought up in. Never had one before. What, a room to yourself? A bed. 
given the opportunity to focus on his academic and athletic life instead of having to constantly fend for himself. The massive man accomplishes his dreams and makes it to the NFL. Well, he's in line for a football scholarship, if he gets his grades up. Is he considering Ole Miss? Better be. Despite the fact that many young people aren't likely to be brought into a wealthy home, this semi-biographical sports drama proves to us that sometimes all it takes is one person to believe in you. The Baltimore Ravens select Michael Orr, offensive tackle, Mississippi. If that doesn't make you feel grateful, what will? We want to know if you would like to become part of this family. I kind of thought I already was. Number six, love actually. Tell her that. Tell her what? Tell her that you love her. No way. A movie with several intertwined stories of love, some of which turn out well and others that don't, Love Actually attempts to provide a balanced but optimistic view on love and relationships. You've got nothing to lose and you'll always regret it if you don't. I never told your mom enough. I should have told her every day because she was perfect every day. Whether that love is between two longtime friends, body doubles who simulate on-set sex for movies, a Brit and a bevy of beauties, or a prime minister and one of his aides, we can't help but root for them. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. Leaving us feeling full of thanks for the possibility of finding love or strength, this film has something for almost everyone and a great gift wrapping sequence. Who knows? We're going to pop it in the Christmas box. But I don't want a Christmas box. But you said you wanted it gift wrapped. Number five, planes, trains, and automobiles. Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> Billed as a road comedy starring two titans of 80s comedy. If you haven't seen this film, then you are in for a treat. You're going the wrong way! He says we're going the wrong way. Oh, he's drunk. How would he know where we're going? Alternating between outlandish comedy and shockingly affecting moments of vulnerability, like John Candy's motel room speech, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles was incredibly underrated upon release. Well, you think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Though the main characters are two men who spend much of the film at odds, they ultimately find true friendship. And in viewing their developing relationship, we feel all the more appreciative of the friends we hold dear. Love is not a big enough word. It's not a big enough word for how I feel about my wife. To the wives. It's truly surprising just how affecting this Thanksgiving classic truly is. Happy Thanksgiving meal. Okay. Give my love to the family, will you? Same to you. Maybe I'll get a chance to meet him one day. Okay. Number four, The Shawshank Redemption. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, or get busy dying. Based on a story by the master of horror, Stephen King, The Shawshank Redemption takes a horrific environment and turns it into a petri dish of humanity. I was in the path of the tornado. and they expected the storm would last as long as it has. Populated with some truly awful men, as well as men who have done awful things, but are becoming better human beings, many of us can't know how realistic this film is. What are you Jimmy staring at? Back to work! Let's go to work! It sure feels like it's real though. After the credits roll, we were left feeling glad that even in the darkest of places, hope and people can still survive. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Every minute you continue breathing is an opportunity to give your life new meaning. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. Number three, It's a Wonderful Life. Dear Father in heaven, I'm not a praying man, but if you're up there and you can hear me, Show me the way. 
This Christmas classic focuses on the tale of George Bailey, a selfless man who constantly puts off his dreams for those in need. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Contemplating suicide at the beginning of the film, George is visited by a guardian angel that helps him to realize how important he's been to those he cares about. You really had a wonderful life. Don't you see what a mistake it would be to throw it away? As George realizes the positive impact he's made in his wonderful life, we too can't help but feel happy that we've been given the opportunity to do the same with the people in our own lives. Strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many other lives. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? Oh, and a small warning? Get the tissues ready for that ending. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. And a boy, Claire. Number two, life is beautiful. Bellissimo. Se fai il suo nome, non c'è più. Il silenzio. A film in which a father and son are sent to a Nazi death camp. You wouldn't think Life is Beautiful would belong on a list like this, but you'd be wrong. Questi sono tempi brutti, ma brutti brutti. Sono brutti, eh? Brutti. Ma perché lei come la pensa la politica? Benito! A dopo, state voi! When the father successfully convinces his son that they're in the midst of a large game in order to shield him from the horrors of their everyday life. The audience is left in awe. Ma che posto è questo? Ma è un posto bellissimo, eh? Volano i piccioni, le donne cadono dal cielo. Io mi stabilisco qua. Leaving us appreciative for the love of family, the sacrifices people make for those they care about, and the healing nature of comedy. This film takes dark subject matter and shines a light of hope upon it. Giosuè, bravo, dormi, vai, fai un bel sogno, vai. Forse è tutto un sogno per davvero. Ti sta sognando, Giosuè. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Value this time in your life, kids. Because this is the time in your life when you still have your choices. And it goes by so fast. Because playing music is supposed to be fun. It's about heart. It's about feelings and moving people and something beautiful and being alive. And it's not about notes on a page. Good news, they called off the search. No, the hell is that good news? Because it means we're gonna get out of here on our own, all right? We're gonna save ourselves. Number one, Castaway. Wilson! Wilson! A package delivery unlike any other we've seen on screen, Tom Hanks' Chuck Noland takes a flight over the Pacific Ocean to deliver a package with disastrous results. Marooned on an island with nothing but a volleyball to keep him company, the FedEx Depot engineer undergoes a physical and mental transformation, but continues to fight for survival and to get home. Yeah! Yes! Look what I have created! I have made fire! An inspiring tale of perseverance, Castaway leaves us relieved for the human spirit, grateful for the entertainment of an awesome actor, and pleased with that kick-ass plane crash sequence that started it all. We live and we die by time, don't we? And let's not commit the sin of turning our back on time. Do you agree with our list? What movie makes you feel grateful? For more heartwarming top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Boy, you are one lucky guy, Neil.